The first thing that I wanted to take a look at is the configurations. Whenever you are working on a new component or plugins or anything, one of the first sections that you want to take a look at is the configuration because this is where you can be able to configure things and you know work on the settings. So you have here uh, this is this is just uh, different things for you to you know to go through to see which ones you want to enable and the ones that you don't want to enable. So you have the jQuery library here and you have the Twitter Bootstrap here. Now for this part. There, if you're using a template that uses the bootstrap, you know, then of course you just have to set this, you know, to no. Because most templates today, you know, they utilize the framework because Joomla is built pretty much on the, uh, the Twitter bootstrap framework. So you want to just set that to no if you already have an existing, you know, template. I'm just leaving this to yes now. And then for the registration integration, do you want to integrate it? This is going to allow before a person have access to your site, they would have to, you know, register and choose a subscription here. And then you can just change, you know, the name here. to whatever you want it to be and then this is from from the email whenever someone subscribe with this the email that they're going to get you can be whatever email address that you want to put there and then you have a notification email here what you know what notifications do you want to receive every time that someone subscribe so you pretty much just go through this and do you want a membership start ID what number do you want the membership to start from so these are the different uh, in terms of credit cards and you know things like that payment and then you have to do the integration now i'm not integrating this to any of this uh, other extension so we're just going to leave this to no but if you already have the uh, community builder or jump social then you can certainly integrate it to that and then for the capture we're going to be taking a look at this later so i'm just going to leave this to no and then when you come down here this is just to allow file types all the different uh types of file that you want to be able to um to allow to install and download and things like that and then you have here the terms and condition do you want people to agree to a terms and condition if so you have to choose the terms and condition that they have to agree you know on in order for them to get access and then you have the currency symbol then you can set the default country you know here so the configurations part is is really basic it gives you a really good overview of what you know the different features that you have and you have the option of disabling or enabling something or just set something yes or no and then you have the invoice here you can be able to create invoices that you know you can send out um, to people so here's just a basic uh, template here you can be able to change these and something to note here is that this use a placeholder. So where it says customer information, name, company, and you see this in this here, brackets here, it's not going to say name where the person receives it. It's actually going to have the person's name. And all this is generated from when the person submit their information on there. So these are just the basic settings here. Uh, you can pretty much just go through and you see the ones that you want to check. And there are times when you may want to say yes to something and then you realize that you want to change it later on. You can always just come back here and then make the necessary changes, you know, to it.